Okay, so you've sent us a whole bunch of articles about this big Tesla robo taxi reveal. Mm. And you want to know, is this the real deal or is this just hype? Yeah. Well, good question. Get ready because we're going to dive deep into everything Tesla's saying, all the tech behind the scenes, what kind of roadblocks they might hit. Right. To help you figure out if this whole robo taxi future is well, going to get here next year, like they're promising. Well, and what's so interesting to me here is how Tesla's framing this whole thing. Yeah. Right? This isn't just, hey, we're revealing a car, is it? Nice. They're trying to sell a whole vision of the future here. Right. Absolutely. It's like Of what transportation could be. Yeah. It's like stepping onto the set of some sci-fi movie. You've got this big Hollywood level presentation, a tech CEO who's known for, you know. Making big promises. Big promises. Exactly. Yeah. And then right in the middle of it all. Yeah. You've got this robot that. Yeah. That's supposed to yeah, change everything. Supposed to change everything. Tesla's putting everything on robo taxes being that change. But the big question mark is... But can they actually do it this time? Right. Can they pull it off? Yeah, this is classic Elon Musk. Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, the guy, he is a master at grabbing the public's attention. He is. But, you know, behind all the theatrics. Right. The real question is, can Tesla actually deliver this robo-taxi revolution they keep talking about? Yeah. Or is this just, you know... Another overpromise. Right. And that's what we're here to figure out. Yeah. Tesla's making a really interesting argument here when you get down to it. They're basically saying, sure, yeah, we make these cool electric cars. Right. But the real money, the real money's in the software. Mm -hmm. The brains of it all. Exactly. And specifically, the fully autonomous driving software. The self driving part. Yes. The yeah. stuff that makes the robo taxes actually work. And that's where the huge payoff for Tesla comes in. Right. If, big if, they can actually figure this out. Mm -hmm. Just imagine it. A whole fleet of these robo taxis just cruising around, making money, mm -hmm. and nobody's even driving. Mm -hmm. It's like a constant stream of passive income. Wow. Not just for Tesla, but for, you know, potentially anybody who owns a Tesla. Oh, wow. Who decides to add their car to this network. So, like, your car could be out there. Exactly. Making money for you. Exactly. While you're sitting at home. While you're at work, you're sleeping. That's wild. It's the powerful idea, isn't it? It is. It is. But you're right to be a little skeptical. Oh, yeah. Because Musk has been promising. He's been promising this for a while. For years. Yeah. And those timelines, let's just say. Haven't aged well. They haven't aged well. Remember back in 2019, he said we'd have a million robo-taxis on the road the next year. I do. I do. Yeah. So. And here we are. Yeah. Let's just say. Still waiting. Musk's got a bit of a history of, well, how do I put this? Being a cad optimistic about his timelines. Yeah, a tad maybe overly. A tad, but you know, in this world, self-driving cars, yeah, the stakes are so high. I mean, e even a little bit of realism can go a long way. Absolutely, absolutely. So before we get you know too caught up in all the excitement of this reveal, yeah, let's rewind a little bit. Okay. And look back at how Tesla has done with meeting these big ambitious deadlines. Yeah, let's dig into that track record a little bit. Yeah, it's interesting you say that about the deadlines because that really is at the heart of why a lot of people are skeptical, right? Mm -hmm. So is this just another one of these like really ambitious claims? Right. Or is there something fundamentally different about what Tesla's doing this time? That is the question, isn't it? Truth. I mean, that's the million dollar question. It is. And to understand, you know, why this time might be different. Yeah. It helps to kind of compare what Tesla's doing to what some of their competition is doing. Okay. You've got companies like Waymo, right? Mm. They're already running these robo-taxi services. Yeah. Limited, sure. Maybe not making money yet. Right. But they're out there. Right. They're on the roads. They're on the roads. Which Tesla's not? Which we haven't seen from Tesla? Not really. Not yet. So what is it about? Yeah. So that's the question. What is it about Tesla's approach that's so different? Why haven't they launched if other companies have already figured out how to at least get something on the road? It really boils down to the technology. Okay. So imagine, right, you're trying to teach a computer. Okay. To see the road, understand what it's looking at. Right. Most of these companies, Waymo, whoever, they use this multi-sensor approach, right? Okay. They're using cameras. They're using radar. They're using LIDAR, which is lasers to measure the distance. Right. They're using incredibly detailed maps right. to basically give the car this 
really complete picture of everything around it. So they're giving the car all these different ways to like see yes. and make sense of the world. Exactly. That's a great way to put it. Okay. But Tesla, Tesla's doing something totally different. Yep. They are all in on cameras and AI. They basically just use cameras to get all their data. Mm -hmm. And then they use, you know, massive amounts of computer power to train their AI. Okay. To take all that visual data. Yeah. And then you know, hopefully make smart driving decisions. So they're basically just throwing all this data. Tons of it. At the AI and saying, all right, learn how to drive. Yep. Figure it out. Which, I mean, I guess that makes sense. But that's where this train and prey criticism comes in. Right? That's exactly where it comes in. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We've got all these critics, even some people who used to work at Tesla, mm -hmm. saying this is way riskier than that multi-sensor approach. Okay. Because if you're only relying on cameras and AI. Yeah. The system's only as good as the data you train it on. Right. It's true. That's true. So if it runs into something it's never seen before. Oh, boy. Who knows how it's going to react? Yeah. That's a little that's a little unnerving when you think about it. Yeah. Because you're talking about computer making split second decisions. With your life. With people's lives on the line. Yeah. Yeah. So what does Tesla have to say about all this? How are they addressing these safety concerns? Well, and that is one of the big things to watch for tonight. Okay. Are they going to actually come out and speak to that? Directly address it. Directly, yeah. Yeah. Tesla's argument is that their way of doing it, mm -hmm. even though it's built on this totally different technology, yeah, is going to end up being safer. Okay. And more importantly, I think for them, more scalable. Right, because they can get it into more cars. Exactly. Literally. More easily. Because think about the cost. Right, yeah. If you right. could put a camera in a car. Cameras. Versus all these other sensors, yeah. That's it's a huge difference. It's a huge cost saving. Especially if you're talking about millions of cars. Yeah. That's a big selling point for investors, yeah. if they can actually pull it off. It's a big if. Big if. They've got a lot to prove here. Yeah, they do. And not just to investors. They've got to convince regulators. Oh, right, yeah. That this thing is safe and it's reliable enough. To actually be let loose on public roads. Exactly. With the rest of us. Yeah, with all of us. Yeah, that's a good point. Which brings us to the other big piece of this whole puzzle. Okay, and that's... Uh, regulations. The regulations, yes, because even if Tesla somehow has figured out all the technical stuff, right? getting the government to actually let them do this. Yeah, that's a whole other... That's a whole other beast. Can of worms. Yeah, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. And here in the U.S., it's a mess. Is it? Is it really that bad? Oh, it's worse. It's worse than you think. Okay. Because you've got some countries that have, you know, national rules Beef. for self-driving cars. Yeah, but here... Yeah. It's different everywhere. Oh, really? It's all over the map. So every state has its own rules? States, cities... It's a patchwork. It's a nightmare. Oh, wow. For any company that actually wants to, you know. Roll this out. Roll this know. out everywhere. Imagine something that's totally legal in California. Right. Could get you pulled over in Texas. Wow. That's wild. It's crazy. It seems like it'd be the other way around. You'd think so, wouldn't you? You'd think. But no. So it's like we're living in the future with the tech. We've got the future tech. But the rules are stuck in the past. It's like the Wild West. It's wild. Wow, so you're saying that this is a big part of the reason why we haven't seen these robo-taxis yet. Could be. Because the rules are just... It's part of it, yeah. ...all over the place. Because if you're a company, right, do you wait for everyone to get on the same page? Right, or do you just go for it? Or do you just say, screw it, we're launching? And hope for the best. And hope they catch up. Yeah. It's a tough call. It's a tough one, right? It's like, do you wait for everyone to agree on the rules, or do you just kind of say, you know what? We're going for it. Yeah. And hope for the best. But See what happens. We've seen how this can play out, right? Right. Like, look at Cruz. Yeah, the GM. The GM yeah. self-driving thing, yeah. Yeah. Remember how they wanted to make those cars with no steering wheels? Oh, yeah, like the real futuristic ones. The super futuristic ones. Yeah. Like they had to scrap that whole thing. Really? Because regulators were like, nope, not happening. Wow, so even they had to, like, mm. kind of rein in their vision a little bit. Totally. It just shows you how hard it is to balance you know, right. pushing the tech as far as it can go right. with keeping everybody safe yeah. and making sure people are okay with it, you know? Yeah, because you know how people get about new technology, especially, especially when it comes to driving. On the roads, yeah. It makes you wonder if, even if Tesla's got the tech stuff figured out, right, like yeah. really nailed it, yeah. could still be years before we see these robo-taxis actually picking people up. Because the government's just like, hold on. Yeah, because the regulators are like, whoa, 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 slow down. 
Interesting. And that's something to keep in mind, right? Like, how fast can this really go? Yeah. From this big, slashy demo. To, yeah, you're calling it on your phone. Exactly. That's a big gap, right? It is a big gap. So that kind of brings us back to this whole event. It does. This big reveal. Tonight, right. Yeah. And you've been looking through these articles. What are we looking for tonight? Yeah, what's going to tell us? Yeah. This is really it. Yeah, are they actually... Well, if it's another one of those... Is this a breakthrough or is this a wait till next year? Right, exactly, yeah. No, I mean, come on. There's going to be some fanfare. There's going to be a show, right? Right, it's Tesla. That's how they do it. Yeah. But look past all that. Okay. Is Musk actually going to show us a car driving itself? Okay. For real. Like for real, for real. Like out there on the road. Okay. No tricks. Yeah. Dealing with like. Real life stuff. Traffic, pedestrians, you know, the whole nine yards. So we got to see it in action. We got to see it. Not just hear about it. Exactly. Because anybody can do a demo in a controlled environment. Right. But showing it working out in the real world. That's different. That's a whole other level. Okay. So what about timelines? Ah, yes. The million dollar question. Is Musk going to give us a date? Right. Is he going to tell us when we can expect to, you know, order a robo-taxi? Call one up. Because if Tesla's serious about actually launching this thing soon, I mean, like, they've got to tell us how they're going to deal with the government. They've got to, right? Because that's the other half of this. Yeah, that's the other half. And, you know, it's funny you bring that up because this whole event, it's not just about robo-taxis, right? Right, right. The name of it is We Robot. (laughs) That feels bigger. You know what I mean? It does. It does. And there have been all those rumors about Tesla's robot Optimus. Well yeah. Could this be where we see that? Maybe. I mean, Musk has said some pretty wild stuff about Optimus. <laughs> he said it's going to be worth more than all the cars they make combined. Wow. Combined. So he's saying it's a bigger deal than their whole car business. That's what he's saying. Wow. Imagine that. Imagine your Tesla takes you to work. Yeah. And then a robot version of it. Cleans the house. Yeah, makes you dinner. Wow. Okay, that's getting a little too sci-fi for me. Getting out there, right? Yeah. But that's the kind of future he's painting. It is. And maybe we'll get a peek at that tonight. That would be pretty amazing to see. It would be. It would be. So, I mean, one thing's for sure. What's that? Tesla, they're not afraid to think big. (laughs) No, they're not. They swing for the fences. They do, but like we were talking about, turning those big ideas into, you know... Into reality. Reality. It's Jesus, tough. Right. It's not easy. Right. There's a lot of tech stuff to figure out. And then you've got the government. Right. And the regulations. It's a lot. It's a lot to juggle. It is. But that's why we're here. And right? this is why we do it. To try and make sense of it all. Break it down. For all you listeners out there. Exactly. So as you're watching this whole thing unfold tonight, remember, don't just get caught up in the hype. Don't just get the popcorn out. Think critically. Ask the tough questions. Yes. Look past the presentations, the big promises. Look for the details. Yes. What's the evidence? What's the proof? Are they addressing those safety concerns that we talked about? Are they acknowledging the regulations? What's the player? Yeah, because those are the things that are really going to tell us. Yeah. If Tesla's robo-taxi dream... Is going to happen. Is going to actually happen. Yeah, or if we're all just going to be sitting here. Or if we're all going to be back here next year. Again, having the same conversation. Having the same conversation, exactly. It's definitely an exciting time to be, you know, following all this. Oh, it's amazing. This whole world of tech, especially, you know, transportation. It's changing everything. It is. It really is. The potential is huge. Huge. But... But so are the challenges. So are the challenges, that's for sure. Whether or not Tesla can actually pull this off... Who knows? We'll be watching. But it's going to be a fun ride finding out. It's going to be interesting, that's for sure.